Hey y'all, um, this is not what I had planned for um, the video to go up today. It was actually supposed to be my fall favorite candles or favorite lady, favorite fall candles. But as you can tell, I am sick. I sound pretty decent right now, um, but I think I might have slept maybe, maybe three hours last night. Um, <clears throat> My throat would get super, super dry and literally, lady, please, <laughs> go lay down. I can't talk. My throat would just get really super dry all of a sudden and just like wake me up with this cough and I just can't, I can't get rid of it. Um, I'm also sneezing. It started um, at the beginning of the week. Today is Thursday. <laughs> See, I don't even know what's going on. Today is Thursday. And, um started beginning of the week and that my throat started I felt like my sinuses were draining um I think that Monday and then that Tuesday morning when I woke up my throat literally felt like it was on fire and it, it was bad so I had some tea um it did get a little bit better and it's sort of during the middle of the day it's not so bad the worst part of it is the morning and at night so, super sucks. I'm not getting hardly any sleep. Um, but, let's see. As the days have progressed, one day I thought I was getting better. And then, as of last night, it is so bad. I don't even know if we're going to be going home this weekend like we, like we have been. Because um, <clears throat> I really don't want to be um, exposed to... This is really weird, but when we go to Mama's, um, it's like... It switches either I'll get sick when I come back home or I'll get a little sick when I go there it's like the the air or something um, I guess it's different which it is I mean there's we're different counties apart but just in the house um, I don't know if it has anything to do with ventilation or what it sounds so weird but just going to different places um, I'll get sick and since the weather's changing and it's cold and flu season I'm scared to death I'm going to get the flu um, I've only got it a handful of times I've had sinus infection a thousand times um, I have so many problems with my sinuses but what has helped um, which I did post a video sorry which I did post a video of my little concoction that I make um, that does help I do get immediate relief but um hey Anyway, uh, I do get immediate relief when I do that little um, drink thing that I made. But you can only do it so many times a day. And I just think I'm, I'm at the point now. I didn't take it immediately if I would have took it when I first started having signs of a sore throat. It would have nipped it in the bud because it would have killed all the germs and stuff. But I waited. <laughs> so <clears throat> at this point... I'm probably going to have to have some antibiotics that'll that'll help me out. Um, I have my eye doctor's appointment tomorrow, which has absolutely nothing to do with what I have going on. <clears throat> but we've had that appointment scheduled for probably a month now. So, um, I don't want to... I can't cancel it. And tomorrow's Mama's birthday, which is going to really suck if we can't go home. So... I don't know. I just feel like I just need to rest up and get get all situated <clears throat> because this <coughs> sorry because this is just I don't know and I am not looking forward to it getting dark outside and becoming night again because last night was brutal. It was killer and I I ate some throat lozenges and it would open me up for a little bit and then a couple hours I'd wake right back up again so yeah, like I said I think I was I remember I was I took a melatonin which puts me to sleep around 940 and normally when I do that within an hour I'm like knocked out well <laughs> it was 12 something and I was still up coughing and could not go to sleep for nothing in this world. So I decided to take another one, which you're supposed to take two. But I've started only taking one and actually works. So I'm trying to eventually work myself back off of them. But um, 
it was one o'clock and I got up and Cody wanted to know if he if he needed me to get him anything get if he needed me if he needed wait if I needed him to get me anything and um I was like no because he normally gets up at like five o'clock and um I wanted him to get some sleep for work <coughs> so I was like no it's fine I'm gonna just try to find some um hauls the throat lozenges so I did find some of those but still it was killing me and um that was at one I remember waking up at three and then he got up to go to work and I was up then and then I was up again and then I finally got up at like 9 30 so yeah I think I might have got three hours of sleep but just want to let you guys know what's going on um I'm going to try to um, vlog when Cody gets home, maybe. <clears throat> I'm thinking about moving back to the bedroom here shortly. I've been on the couch today just trying to change my location up some because I've been in the bed for the past two days. At least I was folding up some laundry while I was laying in the bed, so it's not like I wasn't being productive. But I do need to clean need to clean the kitchen and I just my body aches so bad I just I like, can't even go in there and stand up for whatever amount of time so maybe just maybe Cody will clean it for me when he gets home a girl can dream can't she but yeah I'll try to vlog a little bit more <coughs> this is just gonna be the easiest thing to do and just let y'all know what the deal is what's going on even if I sound completely horrible I didn't want to let you guys go without having a video um because I'm on a streak and I can't break this streak you know you know how that goes so um me and lady are just gonna keep chilling and I've been binge watching um that 70s show don't know why but I'm like on season four almost or something I started from the beginning also two of our favorite shows um new seasons have been added on to Netflix those are what are they oh Hawaii Five O, and The Walking Dead so Cody and I are going to be completely binge watching those because we've been waiting for these seasons to come back to Netflix so we're going to watch those and that's that's pretty much it that's going on right now guys so i'll try to check in a little bit later let me tell you something not to do cody's home let me tell you something not to do wait cody brought us some kfc home this is the famous bowl and the biggest order of potato wedges known to mankind well thanks for dinner when you're eating <coughs> when you're eating peanut butter don't let it get in your beard. Because you'll smell it the rest of the day. Because I'll have that problem. I don't have a beard, you dingbat. <laughs> anyway. You might. We are watching Hawaii Five O. finally. This is season six. We feel like we've been waiting for over a year. I'm glad they started at the wedding. I know. Because if they would just skipped it, I'd have been upset and lost. Ladies down here. Hello, lady. Come here. What's going on with the sheets? <clears throat> Hello, lady. Get away from my drink. Try to get her to get on the bed, and I can't get her up here. Uh -oh. she's, it's like she's glued to the floor. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Sit down. Good girl. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> for the rest of the night, we're going to watch this. And we're also going to watch, what else? The Walking Dead. <laughs> so we're pretty excited about it. <clears throat> Just thought we would check in. You guys have a wonderful night. I will check in tomorrow. We have an eye doctor's appointment at 11 and 11.30. So we shall see if we need glasses or not. We're watching The Walking Dead now. Lady. It's all into it over here. Be comfy. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything, should I? No. <laughs> Alright, episode two. Hee hee hee. into 
the eye doctor. I sound a lot better this morning. That Theraflu just might have done the trick. So I don't think I'll be taking the Mucinex anymore. I do have a cough drop in. <clears throat> so my appointment's first and his is after. So we shall see what they tell us. Back up. <laughs> we got our eyes dilated and we can't see anything. <laughs> Just wanted to show you Cody's fancy schmancy shades. shades. That's right. We both got glasses so we can go to the truck. I can sort of squint my eyes. But I didn't have to get them. Neither she, did I. Well, yes, you did. I mean, I did because of all the work that I did for you guys on the computer. <laughs> did she give you the option that either you can get glasses, contacts, or neither? Or do nothing? No. She gave me that option. She said, we can give you glasses, we can give you contacts, or do nothing. Because huh. it's not going to make you worse. Well, hopefully our kids will take after us. Because we both have pretty decent vision. Both of our eyeballs look good. They looked at pictures of our eyeballs. Um, I should have took a picture of us trying on, or a video. I'm trying to hit this car. Should have videoed us trying on our glasses. We picked out pretty cool glasses. Of course, I got bigger frames because I have the bigger face and bigger eyes. She said my eyeballs dilated really big. They're still super blurry and the sun kind of hurts. So, um, they were actually really cheap. Um, mine were 139 and Cody's was 180. 168. Where's that at? Oh, no, wait. Total current. Never mind. Okay, yours is 168. I'm reading the wrong thing. Mine was 138. I was cheaper. Maybe because his frames were metal and mine were plastic. I don't know. I can look at the breakdown. You are styling and profiling, son. Profiling, son. But when you take them off, won't you just feel how bad the sun hurts? I'm really starving. We hadn't eaten anything. But we had wonderful um, doctors, nurses, whoever they were. Sure. Assistant. I don't, the, the ladies that helped us figure out what style of glasses we wanted were really helpful. They were very helpful. Because um, Cody's never worn glasses ever. Ever. So I have. I mean, I went. To, I first got my first pair of glasses when I was in the second grade. And I'm going to tell you the story about that. Where you want to eat? I don't know. I'm starving, Marvin. Um, there was a little girl in my class, second grade, that... Where do you want to eat? Ugh. Not KFC. Well, I weren't going back to KFC. I don't know. Would you now? You sure love some KFC. Um, McDonald's? It's been a while since we had McDonald's. Well, I'm going to go this way and go to back. Go around? Okay. I need to put my seatbelt on. Hold on, guys. Okay. Seatbelt is on. So anyway, here's the story about, watch this, dummy. Um, second grade, there was a little girl in my class, I will not say her name now, <laughs> um, but she was like really popular and everybody wanted to be her friend and wanted to talk to her. And nobody was at the, I guess at the moment talking to me and nobody wanted to be my friend. Well, she had glasses and I was like, Maybe they want to be her friend because she's got glasses. So serious, so serious. So I was like, "What? Well, how am I going to be able to get some of these glasses? So I started telling my mama. I pretty much lied. Sorry, mama. Mama knows this story. Pretty much lied, told my mama that it hurt to look at the computer at school doing those accelerated reader tests. <laughs> so she took me to the doctor. They preferred me to, or referred me, preferred. They referred me to the eye doctor. And um, come to find out, I had an astigmatism and I actually needed glasses. <laughs> so here I was thinking, I was just gonna get like some fashion glasses to wear so people be my friend. And I really ended up needing glasses. I don't think I needed to wear them all the time. I don't think I did. I didn't necessarily need to wear them, which is like now I won't have to wear them all the time. 
but it was just so funny to me how I was just I lied I said I guess Jesus said I'll fix you I'll break you from lying you won't lie again That's which, right. which I did but maybe not as bad about I don't I've never lied about a sickness after that things take because and you know how they always say this is completely not nothing to do with eyes but they say not to play with crutches if you play with crutches you'll end up or wheelchair you'll end up needing one well daddy had crutches because um what you don't know is daddy one of his legs which is i think it's the same leg as me me and him have the same bad leg so it's his left leg he got pinned between two vehicles many years ago i think maybe like 98 95 something like that so he got pinned between two vehicles and nearly broke every bone in his left leg there's been some accidents since then that's just sort of helped breaking some of the remaining bones but um he had crutches and i used to walk on his crutches when i was in the eighth grade um i had a lot of knee problems same leg um and it finally it popped out of place three times and that third time it was bad and they ended up having to um i had to have mris done and all kinds of stuff uh, yeah I ended up having surgery done and they did a microscope whatever kind of thing inside of my knee I had three holes in my knee they went in and looked scraped something I, yeah scraped some tissue I ended up missing my sweetheart dance in the eighth grade because I was in surgery that day high off of whatever they gave me I slept predominantly that entire day and and whined and cried don't ever play with stuff. Don't play with health and sickness. Do not play with stuff like that. So, yeah. Learn my lesson. So, both of us have glasses. We should have them, she said, in a week. She said seven to ten business days. Yeah. So, in about a week. Um, mine are tortoiseshell colored. They're not like the Ray-Ban shape, but they are a bigger frame. Cody got more of a metal old man glass glasses they are not old man <laughs> i'm just picking now the other set you did have on were a little elder-esque there was another it weren't those ones you got it was another set they were different they were thicker looking i don't know how to explain it but these do look good on him it's just hard i guess because i've never seen him with glasses sure. maybe he'll just look more distinguished maybe especially when he's shaved and his hair is fixed mm -hmm. distinguished so when we get our glasses, we'll make sure to um, vlog. But today is Mommy's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mama Sharon. I guess we're gonna do a little Snapchat here shortly and tell her happy birthday because this will go up a couple days late. This will be going up on Sunday and it's Friday, September 16th. So I gotta edit all of this and get it up because when we leave, I will not have any service to get it up when I get to my mother's. Um, so yeah, we're headed to McDonald's now. I'll try to check in when I get home. And I guess I'll just slap this video all together. And I wasn't going to upload until Monday. But you guys know I can't leave you hanging. They are washing the crap out of some vehicles. They must do pretty decent. They have to if all those people are there. I will. We're going to order our food now. We are home. I have these wonderful eye masks that I got in my Ipsy bag and I had a little puffiness from being sick all week so I thought I would try these out. They feel really good. So I'm just going to sit back and chill. I got that 70s show on because like I said I'm binge watching it. Eric and Donna have broke up. So Cody's going to um, cut the grass and go hunting and I'm going to um, clean up some for sure pack all of our clothes for this weekend and um, edit so I have to edit this vlog for you guys I might even film if I have enough time I might film while he's gone so we shall see so me and lady just wanted to say bye bye lady want to say bye come here come here come here hey no, Jack, Up here. Jack. Come oh. here. Ah. <laughs> here. Here, say bye. Here, say bye. Down the street. <laughs> okay, guys. 
，拜拜 ，for now。